Well, everyone, it's your prince of the motherfucking science! And yes, I am on cam and I've got my, yes, Batman in pink shades. That's right. And today marks a very big moment on this channel. Today is March 13th, and March 13th was the anniversary of this channel. In 2016, I made this lovely channel. And who knew? Who knew? that I would be at 560,000 subscribers. We're well over 560. I think we're like at 565 right now, right? We're on our way to 600,000 subscribers. This is insane. I did not see this coming. Well, I mean, I am the Prince of Privilege. And yes, just for all of you, I do have a masculine beard right now. I know it's been a while since you've seen me on cam, but yes, look at the masculine beard. Yes. It's wonderful. So today we're gonna do something a little interesting that I haven't done in quite a while, and that is a Q&A for all of you. So without further ado, let's answer some questions. So to do this, I'm gonna be answering them via my phone. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this, all right? First question we have is from Alan Vachita. When is the Broly movie review Vachita rant? I know you ask me all the time where the cheetah rat is, but it's on delay, all right? It happens when the prince is ready. Our next question comes from Titsumi. How does one become confident enough to voice act and or just simply stream videos? Well, Titsumi, you know, it's just all about getting out there and doing it. You know, early on, you know, you're going to have a lot of uh, issues with your confidence, but I think the more you do it, the more it just becomes natural. So it's all about putting yourself out there and you're just going to have to, you know, it's kind of like, you know, when you're a kid and you can't swim at some point in your life and you don't want to dip, you don't want to jump in the pool, you know, you kind of have to put your foot in the water and you know get out there to swim and you know people can teach you sometimes but the best way for you to just figure YouTube out or Twitch depending on what you want to do is to just start doing it and it's really that simple Ooh, we got a good question here from Irish gaming have you ever thought of quitting YouTube before I am a starting youtuber and I'm struggling to continue to make content it's not that I don't love doing it I just can't find the motivation. Is there anything you know that might can help me out? And congrats, you're on your three years of making amazing videos on uh, YouTube. Um, you know, Irish, it, everyone that's a YouTuber at some point has motivation problems. You know, I personally have went through this many times. Um, when you've been doing this as long as I have, motivation is hard to keep. Um, burnout happens it depends on how active you are doing YouTube and people that do YouTube for a living like myself we're very active so we do videos all the time and I think you know it just depends on who you are because sometimes if you're a youtuber that's doing a lot of uploads it can really take it out of you so you will get burnout like honestly I have been on a burnout ever since January of this year I had uh, been going and going and going and going and now I kind of hit a flat line. What you got to do is just kind of put those, you know, unmotivated feelings and to stop dwelling on them and to just put that into working. You know, you got to use that energy in a more productive sense and you just got to do it that way. It's hard and uh, you won't necessarily get motivation just like that, but it does suck as a YouTuber because, you know, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. When you have the high anything's possible you can make multiple videos I remember one time I was on a high and I made like 60 videos and that was a fucking high and that was a high man um, but no man just uh, it's it's the best way to describe on how to get out of that rut is to just keep doing what you do because eventually it will pass you know it's like anything else it, it, it will pass at some point um, sometimes it's good to take a break um, depending on who you are, if you're not that big of a YouTuber, for example, you can afford to take a break. I personally think the minimum for every YouTuber should be one video a week. Minimum. I think that should be your goal. And if you can meet that, then I think you can take the rest of those days to rest and collect yourself. Like, you know, it's like any other job, you know, where, you know, if it's a job that you do for a living, even if you love it, 
if you do it all the time, it's a still a job. So it's going to be days that you don't want to go into work. There's going to be days that you don't want to do it, yada, yada. It's just all about, you know, persevering and staying course to you, what you love to do. And that's my advice to you, man. Just steer the course. Oh, this is coming from Sinzu, my friend. Uh, something has been racking my brain. So I'll just ask. Will you be guest voicing on Dragon Ball R and R like Geek the One on One did? Just wondering, you know. Um, Sinzu, I do not have any plans to do that at this particular time. Um, not saying that I wouldn't. I'd love to, you know, work with Lawrence on his great project. Um, it's just I don't know who I could play. It's more like trying to figure out who my voice would really work with um the characters that have been uh available at this current time aren't the ones that i feel like i can really bring a good performance for um you know i did audition for vegeta at one point but i kind of knew when i auditioned i think he's going for a new type of look for the voice and he did and the guy that he picked was really good awesome brought in a new take i absolutely loved it um, but in terms of like who I think I might could voice, um, maybe Yamcha. In short, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, what is your inspiration to play the character Vegeta on YouTube? Who is your favorite YouTuber other than the ones you know personally? Okay, that is a good question. Uh, Dakash Banzel, I probably butchered your name. Um, you know, what inspired me to do the cheetah was just me you know doing some improv and a call with some other VA friends of mine and uh, something just kind of clicked with me doing the cheetah and I wasn't you know using a script or anything and I was just kind of speaking out of my you know my head and I was like wow this is really funny and the cheetah's never been up until this point he is now he is my favorite character now but for years and years and years he was never my favorite character it was Gohan so it all kind of came randomly uh, for me and call when I started to do it and uh, it wasn't planned so you would probably think well Vegeta you would uh wouldn't you do that instead of Vegeta yeah uh, I guess I would have but uh, I was just funnier with Vegeta and everything felt right with him you know what I mean like it just it felt like everything was going together perfectly um, and who is my favorite youtuber outside of the ones I know personally uh, definitely PewDiePie um, always has been for a long time though I've had different youtubers that I really liked um, you know as any viewer that's watching YouTube eventually you kind of your you know your taste kind of varies over time um, team four star uh, but I do kind of know them personally some of the people anyway so I, I guess they don't count um, but some of them I don't Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, um, and actually some ordinary gamer, uh, Mudahar. Uh, he, he was de he's definitely someone I like to watch sometimes. It's, it's funny enough, like nowadays I kind of like to watch YouTubers that aren't related to Dragon Ball because I do Dragon Ball now. Even though I do watch Dragon Ball YouTubers a lot of the time, I have to, you know, be really interested in the topic because I've just kind of get burned out on doing Dragon Ball Dragon Ball all the time on YouTube so when I watch YouTube videos it's usually something outside of that you know what I mean but um, essentially that's it those are my favorite youtubers and that was the inspiration to do the cheetah we got a question from Nico Baka Sammy all right that is a name how much percentage of your power do you need to defeat Thanos Asking you, not the cheetah. Okay, you're asking me. <laughs> I think we gotta have a percentage of over 9,000, if you get my meaning. Huh? 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 Uh, that's an outdated name. We have a question from Coop YT. How long does it take you to nail an impression and what made you decide to be Vegeta? Well, I already kind of explained the whole situation with the Vegeta, but how long does it take me to nail an impression? It just depends. Sometimes, <laughs> awkwardly enough, I'll be in call, like, uh, let's talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh impression, right? The Yugi a Tim impression. I remember I was in call with a guy and we were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh and actually funny enough I was doing like a variation of Little Karibo's um, uh, Yugi and we were just kind of fucking around with that. We were just messing around with that and you know 
uh, out of nowhere, he was mentioning Dan Green, who is the um, Four Kids official actor for uh, Yugi. And I said, oh, yeah, I, I, you know, when he, I threw out a line, I said, it's time to duel, Kaiba. He's like, whoa, that sounds really close. And I'm like, does it? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay, let me, let me mess with this. It just kind of happened like that, you know, Kaiba. You're going down, Kaiba. It's time to do. I'll give you a good example. Ching Gohan, when I wanted to do that voice, it was a very hard process to um, find the structure of the voice. So it took time. So in other cases, it can vary. Sometimes you have to spend time to find an impression. Like when I did Ching Gohan, that took a long time for me to really get the structure of that voice, but my voice has kind of changed a bit. So I, d I do wonder if I could actually still do it with that amount of vigor anymore. But thank you for your question. We have a question for Evelina Oliver. How long did it take you to perfect your Vachita voice? Honestly, I have no idea because I kind of literally started doing Vachita when I made the channel. And if you look at my first video, and compare it to like some of my other ones, it just evolved. I would say, how long did it take me to really get into the rhythm? Probably about a good five months, I would say. But I do remember one time I did a stream that was like eight hours long, back on YouTube back in the day. And after that, it seemed like the Vegeta voice was nothing anymore. I remember just doing that stream and I said, wow. I think I cracked the code. We got a question from Cameron Scott. Hey, Vachita, I was wondering if you're going to continue Spider-Man and the Resident Evil Let's Plays. Would you mind considering continue playing The Walking Dead? Yes, yes, and absolutely. All right, we're gonna do that Walking Dead. It's just, um, to be completely honest, like I explained earlier in the video, I had been a little bit burned out and I've been taking a little bit of a break when it comes to let's plays and to be honest sometimes uh that motivation takes a lot of dedication um but i'm gonna try i'm gonna definitely try to go through uh resident evil 2 that's my primary thing and then you know then spider-man and then walking dead will uh take the next priority but yes i am gonna continue god of war though just just in case anyone wants to know about that the reason why i didn't continue god of war and you guys are gonna be so fucking pissed but I actually completed it. I recorded everything and it was done. The reason why it hasn't come out is because accidentally, for some reason, I deleted the footage. And now I am not gonna restart the game and fucking redo it. <laughs> So that's why I didn't complete it. But then again, I guess I could always just redo it and just pretend I didn't, you know, see all the things I saw in the game. But I guess it would be disingenuous. But that's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you just want me to just battle through it and get back to the point where I was. Uh, let me know. We got a real question here from Curious Mark Urza. Which one is the best? Chris Sabat, Brian Drummond, or Lanny Pator? Hmm. So you're asking me, who's the best Vachita? Hmm. That is a good question. It's tough. Sabat Funimation. Got Brian Drummond who invented the over 9,000. It's over 9,000! And then you got Lanny Pator who likes beards. And mustaches. Well, at the end of the day, they're all me, so they're all the best. <laughs> That's your answer. Deal with it. Here's a question from Armo Yusum. Do you prefer Dragon Ball or One Piece? Dragon Ball. Not saying that I don't like One Piece. It's just uh, very hard to get through. It's so long. I think I... I'm in the 150s, I think. Somewhere in that range. Um but I have yet to watch it again, but I do like One Piece. It is good. It's just trying to watch it, all those episodes, man. You gotta grind. We got another question from Emily Myers GK63. How did you start voice acting DBZ characters? Funny enough, before I did this channel, I um, was a fan dubber. And if you wanna know what that means, it's basically where a fan will get a mic, 
and they'll re-record what the actual lines are in a anime or film and they will do the voices themselves so like for example i recorded a uh, goku going super saiyan that was actually my first stand up and uh i recorded the same lines that sean shimmel had recorded and then i added the sound effects and the music and i pretty much just uploaded it to YouTube and that's how it happened um, you know I was a youtuber for a good while I think I had a good couple of years and eventually I made this channel while I was still doing YouTubing for uh, fan dubbing eventually that channel got strikes and I was pissed and then I made this channel and I started to really do videos on this one and I actually will never forget I had been doing um, fan dubs for like so many years and I only had like I think 500 or 800 subs uh, and I thought that was big time by the way um, and then this channel first month got like over 9,000 or some shit and I was furious I was like what why but uh, essentially uh, how I got into the voicing characters business we got a question from our good friend Austin what is it like doing voice acting and what would you recommend a new YouTube to do? I assume you meant YouTuber. Um, it's the greatest experience for me. It's like all the creativity and imagination and fun dialogue that you can think of in your head. You get to do it. Um, I was heavily inspired by Saturday Night Live and they do a lot of impressions. So a lot of what I do uh, kind of goes into that. And when I do impressions sometimes, my goal is to do an impression that sounds close enough to what you expect from the show, but then be unique and original, but also have a funny twist to the voice. So when I do Freeza, it's, it has a little fun to it. It's not quite like the dub, but it's funny, right? It's funny. It's like, you know, an exaggerated impression. So that's kind of the goal for me. And But it's just the greatest experience ever. It's hard to put into words. Just think of the funnest thing for you to do that's what that feeling is for me every single day when I get to make videos. Um, and what do I recommend for a new YouTuber? Do what you love because you're going to be doing this for free. So you might as well be doing it for something that you care about because money's not going to come into the equation until much later and even more so nowadays. Back in the day when I became a partner, it was a lot more simplistic to get involved in the whole, you know, YouTube partner program. Now you got to meet a lot of prerequisites. So just do what you love, do your best. The big thing you got to do is try to find the unique thing that sets you apart from everyone else. You're just going to have to take every shoe that you can find and try them on until a shoe fits. So good luck. Oh, we got a question from Griffin. I'm not sure if anyone's already asked, but what's your favorite Super Saiyan form? Super Saiyan 2. American Cock. What a name. Can you say your best it's over 9,000s? Well, yes, I can. It's over 9,000! We have a question from Elias Jovel. Are you really going to bring back your GTA Z series? If so, when? Yes, I am. I, I know I've toyed around with the idea of bringing it back for a long time, but more so now than ever, I really want to bring back GTA Z. And if you guys that are new that don't really know what GTA Z is, look it up on my channel. It was an idea where I used mods from different things and I made it, you know, with the cheetah, Goku, and all these characters. And it was such a fun little thing. I definitely want to bring it back. I want it to be out there for you guys to enjoy. And I will give you the date when I know. But stay tuned. Okay, we got a question from Mario. Two questions. One, who's your favorite DB character other than Vegeta? I've already answered that. Gohan. Two, what's your favorite DB movie other than the new DBS Broly movie? That's easy. Uh, Cooler's Revenge. Cooler's Revenge has always been one of my favorite films. I think it's actually my favorite outside of the Broly film. Yeah, I think I think that movie is just awesome. We got another question from Michael Rue. Could you do another discussion video with Connor C. Dog VA? Felt like you guys weren't done talking by a long shot. 
Absolutely. Actually, Sea Dog and I talked not that long ago about you know getting back and talking because we haven't talked in a while, and you know as YouTubers, it's sometimes hard to keep in contact with some people because it's just so much going on. But yeah, I would absolutely love to have him back on the channel or be on his or whatever and have another another podcast type of discussion. So we got a question from our good friend, Jacob Xenoverse. To the cheetah, and yes, this is your best one you followed last year, and I want to say it's a great time for your anniversary of your channel to say is what you do actually do on your free time in real life, like go outside, take a daily jog around your neighborhood or anything. So what do I do? I, I know he had some typos here. So you're asking me, what do I do outside of YouTube in my free time? The only thing I really do in my free time these days is mainly watch Netflix really, or watch something on TV. I used to be really into reading, um, but due to doing so much work nowadays, it's uh, kind of been something I've been neglecting because I used to love reading books and but other than that you know uh, I don't really do too much unfortunately and that's just due to the fact that uh, YouTube has been my sole priority I have no life we have a question from Saiyan Knight do you do other voices other than Dragon Ball? If so, can you do something from Naruto or Bleach? Um, yes and yes. I Like I said earlier in this video, I did do a Yu-Gi-Oh impression. Uh, but if I can do something from Naruto... Well, hello everyone, it's my guy, your favorite uh, bushy brown ninja. <laughs> and today, Kakashi, you're gonna feel the power of you. <laughs> Come on, Lee! And from Bleach, I guess Cone. I'll try Cone. Oh, Rukia! I just want to see your patties! Oh, come on! <laughs> Rukia! All right, we got a question from Vendetta. Yo, the cheetah, happy three year anniversary, my nigga. By the way, I got a question. If you don't mind answering, what is your favorite type of hentai, Rule 34? My favorite type of hentai involves Bulma. To be honest though, my favorite type of hentai is to watch the English dub hentai. I think it's just the most hilarious thing ever. You will find some of the most creative <laughs> humor in some of those early English dub hentai. You don't get that anymore, I don't think, but back in the day, oh my god, the, the absurdness that was put into some of those dubs. But we got a question from Ronnie Falcoon Jr. Okay, this question is for Vachita. Yamcha and Marin have been with each other for a while now. She enjoys his company. And Bulma is secretly jealous, but won't admit it. How do you react to Bulma still having sour grapes over the situation of Yamcha and Marin? You know how I react? I pull down my pants and say, Bulma! Here it is! This is what you want! Got a question from Random Rainbow one day. Which characters do you have the most fun recording? Also, March 13th is actually my birthday. Well, happy birthday! And my favorite characters to record, obviously Vegeta. Vegeta is really fun to record. Um, but outside of Vegeta, probably Gohan, to be honest. Because Gohan is just so interested to play. And Yugi, a Tim. A dark entity has a question. What has been the most memorable moment for you during your career? I think the most memorable thing about my career for me is just meeting the people that I consider to be my family. Meeting these people have changed my life for the better. We've got a question from Ultra Instinct. Oh boy. How did you make your voice sound the way it is? Do you do something to make it sound like this? That is a difficult question to answer. I don't do anything if you mean like, do I edit it or anything like that? No, I don't do anything like that. What I do is I just change my voice and I work the vocal cords that are inside my throat and I, you know, make the voice. It's just like that. It's hard to really explain, you know what I mean? But, uh, hope that answered your question. We got a question from Noah M. Allen. What is your favorite anime other than DBZ and also Screw Kakarot, but cheated for life. Now that's my man. Yeah, Screw Kakarot. But um, my favorite anime outside of Dragon Ball Z is Yu Yu Hakusho. That anime to this day 
is a absolute favorite of mine. Love that anime. And if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. We got a question from Super Sam Blue Andre. Congratulations on your three years on YouTube. Thank you. And do you think you might play Legend of Zelda or Xenoverse 2 with Kage again? I'm actually going to be playing Xenoverse 2 with Kage again. We were going to do it last weekend. <laughs> Murphy's Law was taking effect. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And we didn't end up recording. But more of that's going to come. Actually, I think me and Kage are going to do some Legends. So you might want to stay tuned to that. And will I play Legend of Zelda? That could be a good game to play. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Danny Boy has a good question. What's your favorite sandwich? My favorite type of sandwich is one that has two round soft buns with some big meat in the middle, if you know what I'm saying. We got a question from Shadow Wren. Congratulations to your anniversary. What is your favorite Dragon Ball girl? Bulma, always. Yeah. Oh, I knew this question was coming. It happens every time without fail. Kevin BRPG asks, how come you only call yourself the Prince of the Saiyans and not the King of the Saiyans? I never had the damn ceremony. There are no Saiyans left on the planet to hold the ceremony. And because of that, I cannot be the King. Unless I go to Kaba's planet and say, I am the King now. I will assert my dominance all over your women and their faces. Yes. Detective Fury asks, Favorite fight in the Dark Tournament in Yu Yu Hakusho, excluding Yusuke versus Tugoro? Oh man, that is a good question. I would probably say, and I can't remember the names actually of this guy, but maybe you guys in the comments will be able to remember. But my favorite fight from that was Kuwabara when he was fighting this one uh, guy that had like this hard shell of defense and he was just getting beat. That was a really good fight to me. I absolutely enjoyed that fight. I just can't remember that guy's name to save my life, but it was a fight that involved Kuwabara and he had like broken ribs or whatever. I just thought that that was a interesting fight. I just love Kuwabara. He Kuwabara, baby, yeah! We got a question from the Ninja Man. What is your favorite Pokemon and do you play Pokemon Showdown? I do not play Pokemon Showdown, but my favorite Pokemon is Pikachu! We got a question from Ars Akaju fan. Is there any chance we'll see more vids of you playing more edgy games? You seem to enjoy yourself when you played Galgun. Ah, uh, there's a good chance. It's just the right opportunity needs to happen, the right type of game at the right time, and we'll see though. We'll see. This question here is from JGF. What if Toei made a movie based on you? Dragon Ball Super Vegeta, the Prince of Saiyans? Man, I'll tell you what happened in that movie. I'd be Ultra Instinct, I'd have another baby with Bulma, I'd repopulate the Saiyan race, I'd be the king of all the Saiyans, Kakarot would be the minority clown, and I would be number one! This one comes from Zinki the Saiyan Gaming Channel. If you could learn any technique from any other character, what would it be and why? I would learn the instant transmission. Why? Because then I can literally go anywhere in the world in a blink of an eye. Can you imagine how awesome it would be to just have instant transmission? Bro, are you kidding me? I'd be able to be in Japan. Flights? No, forget about it. And this one comes from Antroid 2. Dear Prince Vegeta, what would happen if you succeeded in gaining the wish of immortality from the Dragon Balls? Hashtag Vegeta Q&A and hashtag Fuckerot sucks. Now I appreciate that hashtag, Fuckerot sucks, cause he does. But what would happen if I got immortality? Well, I'd get the privilege, I'd get the respect, I'd get the bitches, as the Team Four Star counterpart of me would say, and then I would begin to pillage every planet and take the hottest women and add them to my harem, and then repopulate my race and take my place. As the king of all the Saiyans. This question comes from Alm Falcon. What transformation would you like to see on Vegeta for the next Dragon Ball season? By the way, congrats. Um, I would like to see Ultra Instinct with Vegeta. 
or you know maybe a new form entirely you know what i'm just gonna say it what about super saiyan purple we got this question from the rampage if you could meet any one anime character in real life who would it be well it'd be bulma man she's a scientist she's brilliant she's smart and um she's got um assets um that could be very um helpful um to certain parts of the uh male anatomy um it could uh also you know provide entertainment uh i think i'm just gonna shut up <laughs> this question comes from harem queen 20 has chi Lai got the vitamins from broly why yes Yes, she has. This question comes from Sage Willy 20 Hey, Prince of all the waifus, do you plan on branching your harem with different female characters from other animes? I suggest High School DxD. Good choice. I see you're a man of culture. Yes, I am going to eventually branch out. I think I've done a couple of those already. Maybe I haven't. Maybe my memory's a little off. But yeah, this next question comes from Christian Brooks. Would you ever voice the character Vegeta or others for fans in their videos or comics? Um, there was a time I definitely would have. Now I'm way more selective with who I work with. You know, another reason is because you don't necessarily know who you can trust to work with. I'm a type of person, if I work with someone, I feel like I want to trust them and I want to be able to know them and have chemistry with them for the most part, if possible. I mean, obviously I've worked with people that I don't even know before it's just a matter of uh not having the time nor having the knowledge of who they are as a person sometimes and this question comes from midnight sniper what is your favorite video you have filmed so far man that's gonna have to be the fresh prince of gold hair to this day right now i have not did a video yet that i felt that has topped that and now we're down to the final question of the day and it's from felipe but Cheetah, thank you for the wonderful videos and Twitch streams this year so far. You're very welcome. My question is, how do you feel about Yamcha's dramatic finish when he wins against Nappa? I think it's kind of hilarious. You know, I think it's funny. <laughs> it's kind of like a joke compared to how, you know, what happened to him in the show with the Cybermen. If you're asking the Vegeta me, it's like, THIS IS BULLSHIT! <laughs> well everyone this has been a little Q&A for all you guys it's been great I honestly didn't expect to be here in three years doing this specific channel uh, the amount of growth that has happened is crazy I want you guys to just give yourselves a pat on the back because you are a part of it um, if you've been with me for a day, for a second, for a minute, you are now a part of this journey that I've went on. I could not get where I'm at without you guys. So thank you. You know, I don't know what the future has in store. I don't know how long I'll be doing this for forever how long. But as long as I'm doing it, I'll do the best that I can to provide the content that you guys deserve. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more of me. And you will get the D. Are you feeling angry, humiliated?